I'm Ashish Bhatnagar, uh, currently the principal of the Indian Public School in Erod in Tamil Nadu. I'm a native of Udaipur, Rajasthan. Uh, the Indian Public School has got several branches uh, and uh, I'm heading the Cambridge and IB section of uh, TIPS, uh, which has got uh, 800 students. And we've got uh, branches across uh, Erod, Salem, Trichy, and Thirunelveli. Well, uh, I, I believe for, uh, for interdisciplinary approach, anything uh, like any topics that the teachers normally teach, they have to make it very, very interesting, very, very interactive, as well as something which they can collaborate uh, using different activities and in fact, with the help of other teachers. When we say interdisciplinary approach, the approaches to the learning, which is ATL, comes into picture as well. And uh, the interdisciplinary approach makes things much, much easier for students to register. And they don't need to cram any concepts. It helps them in uh, understanding the concept or the conceptual understanding. And uh, this is what is expected out of the teachers. So interdisciplinary approach is actually the right kind of approach towards delivering any kind of curriculum. Fantastic. Now, see, uh, this is a very interesting question, like uh, four C's, which in fact even I was talking about this morning, uh, which is critical thinking, uh, collaboration, creativity, and communication. Now, uh, see, I, as I said in the morning session as well, that critical thinking is all about not being a critic, but it is about being how to critically evaluate and analyze a particular situation. So that's very, very important. So when you talk of these skills, like let's say collaboration. Now collaboration is a very, very important skill for students to learn because what they are going to do now, especially if you, uh, if you talk of you know, in the context of higher education, nobody is going to work uh, you know, individually. Even if you do your startup or a business, you will be dealing with hundreds and thousands of people, right? So in that case, what happens is you need to collaborate with a lot of people. And this is a skill which we really need to develop that how to work in teams and how to talk to people. And now how to talk to people comes into picture the communication part of it. So basically how you communicate, reading, writing, speaking, listening, you should be a good listener as well. So when I said that, uh, collaboration, communication and creative skills is something which you need to think something really different and, and do it you know, in, a, in a very different manner. Uh, one particular skill which I would like to focus here is the skill that is required to deal with failure. This is something which unfortunately we haven't focused yet and what I feel is when you talk of these four C's and the leadership skill, the L, very important part is taken care of, which is about how to deal with failures. We talk of only of success, success, how to be success, what is success criteria. Have we ever thought about how to deal with failures? A child who has failed or who has not succeeded, how do we deal with it? So this is another skill which I strongly believe that that must be imparted to our students. Uh, in fact, see, we need to focus uh, on a connect uh, of our students with our culture, with our society, with our community. And this is something which is extremely important. They should take pride. In fact, I must say there are a lot of speakers even today's session, they said this, that Bharat or India, you know, that connect is required. And this is what we need to bring into our lectures. We need to bring it, make it a part of our delivery system. So that connect, once this connect is established, I think we are done with the task, with the question which you've just asked. Uh, I must say what Rishi Hood University and what uh, the CEO's vision, uh, Mr. Sahil Agrawal's vision is, is absolutely fantastic. When I see this young man, you know, talking about and sharing his vision about how, you know, like uh, what he's doing, what kind of education system he's looking forward to. See, entrepreneurship is a skill which I've always advocated for. 
let me tell you uh, in all my students like it's 26 years of my teaching career now I've always focused my students that always look forward to being an entrepreneur entrepreneurship skills are something which we really really need to focus on we need to create wealth builders people who can generate wealth and not just become users or who becomes employees so we really need to need to have people who can actually create business who can create wealth and who can create jobs so i think rishi hood's vision is absolutely spot on this is what is required at the moment Well, pandemic in fact has changed a lot, uh, especially when it comes to education system. Uh, education technology is something that it could not achieve in the last 15 years. In fact, I should say that it achieved in just 15 weeks time, All right? Uh, once the pandemic hit, there were so many ad tech companies, there were so many takers, immediately there was a huge shift to online classes to using educational tools and the technology and I think this pandemic has changed uh, in, in, in a great way uh, I must say there are positive sides of it there are negative sides of it as well the pros and cons of course of every situation but I would like to see towards the positive side of it uh, that there are a lot of people in fact who always were scared of using technology even my co, you know, like co-educators, parents, that technology probably will take our jobs. Trust me, it's not going to happen. Technology is a tool. Technology is an aid. And technology, if used in a proper way, it can be a good servant. Don't let it become a bad master, that I must say. So technology is definitely helpful and pandemic situation has given us a new horizon, an entirely new perspective to look at things and how we can make education more interesting, more meaningful.